Hi, thanks for joining. I'm Denise Defara and I'm an artist and this is one of my vlogs. Um, it's nearing the end of November in Australia and I say that because at the end of this video I've created a separate section that you can choose whether you want to listen to it or not. Um, it was a couple of days ago in the morning time and I was having a rough time feeling really frustrated. Um, I guess I was dealing with feelings of sort of um, rejection and just the kind of business side of things in, in this art practice. And so I, I recorded how I was feeling and I wasn't feeling great. So I just recorded that chatting honestly and I didn't know whether I would feel okay to put it in the vlog or not. So I've put it at the end and I've made um, an image of a door and mentioned when it's going, I'm putting it in at the end there so that you can choose whether you feel like listening to that or not. You don't have to, of course. Um, yeah, I can't, cause I have, I do have a desire for my videos to be uplifting, um, a space of grace and you know, inspiration and support. I guess mostly, I guess I'm reaching other artists and I know that there's one or two um, YouTubers that I watch and it's specifically because of their realness and openness and they inspire me. So it is, um, it, it is my intention to, to be that way. And so, yeah, if you just want to stick with the painting part, that's all at the beginning. Um, I don't finish the painting in this video because it was getting over 40 minutes uh, long. So I've um, kind of put me chatting a little bit about the painting process and, and slow painting pieces. I might speed up some little bits because I'm just editing it now and adding this piece at the front. So yeah, once again, thanks for joining. If you like my videos, I'd love it if you'd subscribe and and say it, by all means leave a comment if if something um, touches you because that is lovely it's really um, it gives what do you say it gives energy I suppose it, it gives energy to me creating the next one and I can kind of respond to things too if I if that if that's necessary if there's questions so anyway I'll leave it there for now and see you next time.
I'm going to pause for a moment here and just share with you some thoughts about um, when I look at these designs on these boards right now. And I want to acknowledge that um, it's a massive um, advantage to be working from a master already. Like, Matisse is a master in design and shape and color and all of that. So to be bouncing off from his design is, you know, such um, a leg up in this kind of exercise and painting this way. But I realized somewhere along the line that coloring in is actually so exciting to me, even more than painting or, or the combination of both. So that's one of the things I'm really drawn to in his work is the lines that he does these painted black lines a lot and you often see a lot of them remaining where I think people might call that naive art or whatever when there's too much kind of outlining. But I've been trying to pay attention to how I'm using the brush and it was particularly dry and thick paint so it's a bit globby, messy, patchy. Um, and I think that's what at this moment is really giving life to these figures. I really love the one on the left, her face. I mean, I kind of wish I could just leave it like that. And this is something I guess I'm, I might play with that with these, you know, I could imagine again, imagine that these are pages in my sketchbook, just treat them like they're pages in my sketchbook and try and keep that freedom about them. But um, yeah, I just, uh, I love so much about how they are now because of the, the amount of freedom and movement and expression that they have. And so it's nice to pause here because they'll um, probably, ne they'll never look this way again, you know? So taking a moment and how lovely to be able to video it and maybe share it. And so um, I'm in the middle of my process and um, I don't know where these will go, where they'll end up, but I'm, I'm just wanting to acknowledge that I love so much about them now. And it'll be interesting when I come back and talk about them when they're finished or when I bring, let them be as done as I'm gonna do them. Um, it'll be interesting how I feel about them then. 
So that's what I'm paying attention to with this, with these ones, is how to stay a bit loose um, and, and kind of asking them what do they want to look like now? Because I've used that Matisse um, image as a jumping off, but I'm not beholden to it. I'm not beholden to it. It gave me the shape and the design of the lady and the idea to put a table and flowers. And that's kind of a universal design. And let's see where it wants to go um, next.
sometimes pull a card when I stop for a tea break. And this one's called Mending. The essential meanings, forgiveness, making amends, healing after arguments. The Oracle's message. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us chained to the very things we need to heal. The pain, the memories, the echoes of resentments and the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds and letting go of the old hurts in order to reclaim your power. Now is the time to forgive, to release, to make peace and to make amends to others. Set yourself free. So when I had a look at this painting again, as I was doing it, you know, step back and have a look from a distance, I could see that her feet looked way too small in proportion to her head. And I realized too that the original painting was done on a taller rectangle shaped canvas and I'm changing it to a small square. So, um, the, so I make adjustments as I'm going and so you'll see in, um, in this piece of the video I had to make quite a few adjustments to the bottom of it and as it sits now it's changed still quite some more but uh, that's sometimes just the process that you can go through or go on um, with this kind of painting um, that you you discover things by doing and so um yeah i i did a, a sort of a a fix up in a way on the design and i'll just sort of keep tweaking and and there are so many ways you can take a painting um but yeah for this one i just felt like her feet looked just way too small and looked a bit sort of awkward and weird angle um and i kind of made that bigger loungy seat so yeah i do like the format of the small square um at the moment and it sort of suits sometimes just the energy that you have if you don't have a lot of energy to tackle a really big canvas it's quite lovely to work on a smaller format and i'm trying to be kind of quite loose and bold and sort of keeping those strong lines with the black paint um, it's a matisse heavy body paint and that's a Holbein oil pastel that I've been using, hoping that it would um, not, that, that the wash that I'm using over the top, which is phthalo green ink mixed with a bit of a teal, um, I was hoping that it wouldn't stick, it was be like a resist, which works with crayons. Um, I, th I was hoping it wouldn't stick, but later I did find out that I could use uh, my Scrofido tool and um, scrape through and the white would come back so um, yeah I, I'm enjoying that I'm treating these a, a bit like uh, sketchbook pages but on my little boards and so I'm trying to keep free and make as many changes or adjustments so it is it takes quite a lot more time in a way but it's enjoyable it's playing and by doing experimenting and um, these paintings will end up probably being for sale but they go through quite a few iterations before that might happen um, and so yeah sharing that a bit with you and it was funny because I tried to go with blue and it just didn't make me as happy as the green so um, I'm adding more green to her robe And quite soon I'll come to the end of this piece of the art video and as I mentioned at the beginning the next part is just me chatting and I feel a hell of a lot better now than I did when I made that piece and it's not that bad but I guess sometimes it, I can border on it it feels like a bit vulnerable to share too much but um, I'm hopefully reaching people that will be okay with that.
This is um, kind of morning time and I'm trying to get into the flow of doing something in the studio. It's a mess, an aftermath of making a painting. And I was, I was actually at the point of really questioning and thinking, what am I doing this YouTube thing for? Um, and just wanting to pull the pin on the whole thing and stop, stop recording, stop sharing. And so I thought, oh, why don't I just speak about that for a minute, get it out of my system so that I can just move on. Um, it's weird, words like confession, growing up Catholic, all kinds of things going through my mind, like why do I feel the need to explain myself? Um, I think there's, there's a big part of me that is an overwhelming, there's a truth teller. And um, I like... I like that about myself, that I think I'm a straight shooter and I will usually tell it like it is or be quiet. Do you know what I mean? Like if you ask for, for my honest feedback, I will give it as gently and truthfully as I can. Or if there's things that I can see or perceive I'm, I try and recognize when it's absolutely none of my business to say anything. So, um, bearing that in mind, this is about my, me showing up. This is part of an artist's life. And I, I don't know how many times you feel like giving up as an artist. And it's not the art that I, that I feel like giving up, not at all. I love, I love the art but I'm noticing how much I bring in on top of it and around it. And to be honest, right now, at the moment, it's the, um, the flurry of the Black Friday sales and the marketing advice of how I should be doing things. And it, it stirs me up. And I was saying to my husband over a cup of tea the, the other day, um, I sort of feel like I almost need a personality bypass to be able to do business that way. I, um, I'm so sensitive to not wanting to upset people. It's part of my nature that, you know, I need to sometimes just tend to it and, and understand and not let that run things because you can never please everyone all the time. That's impossible. And we're not meant to, but um, this this time this sort of and I could another thing I did was invest in that um, big change to my website or one of my website and built a whole new website platform to do to sell prints from. But I hate the marketing part of it. I hate I hate barraging people with buy this now discounts now. Um, all of those things, it's like sometimes I will do them when it resonates and when it, it feels like, okay, that's a natural progression of something I'm doing. But um, to be beholden to that idea of push, 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 does my head in. <laughs> so I can't help but think that is contributing to my energetic state at the moment. The fact that there's just, there's Black Friday sales everywhere saturating all of my social media and my emails. And on the one hand, it's fabulous. Um, if you've got the cash flow, you can go shopping and get lots of discounts. And so I get that. I get that it's helpful in that regard. But when it's happening on such a massive scale and every single part of your life from the department stores to the shoes to the paint to the classes to the everything um you know you kind of haven't got enough reserves to do so you have to be really discerning and choose what what is really important to me what where do i want to invest my time my money and so yeah i just feel like there's so much energy swirling because of that phenomena. Um, I think it was really big in America to begin with, and now it's, 
it's flowed down to Australia heavily, strongly, <laughs> bigly. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what's happening. Um, and I, I record this bearing in mind I absolutely don't want to be adding to things that bring people down, you know. So I'm, I'm going to leave this piece here in my video with the intention that now I've set it down, I will go about reordering my studio a bit. I might have to do some sketchbook pages or something. I feel like I've been wanting to uh, approach these paintings here, but in this state, I'm so um, uh, out of harmony, I suppose, in a way, just a bit jangled and a bit frustrated. And so I realize I need to tend, I, will, I want to tend to that first because I want to come to these with my um, creative joy, you know, the, um, the confident part of me that knows, you know, like entering the mystery, being with the curiosity, but not painting with that frustration and that angst. There's a big difference in the vibe. You can just feel it. And so that's what um, is happening for me today is just being with the discomfort of the feelings that I'm having. I'm going to find a creative way to release them a bit and then see what can come of that. And I thought that's what's real. That's what's happening today. And so um, I thought I would share about it. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully. Well, there will. There'll be a shift. There always is when you intend it. So, yeah, that's it for this moment. If you did stay on, I wanted to let you know I did feel better, you know, not long after that, um, that sharing, you know, an hour or two or whatever. Um, and that is when I was doing these painting and there's another few that I've been uh, videoing bits and pieces of them along the way and they will be in the coming vlogs in the coming weeks. So thanks so much and I look forward to coming back next time. <laughs> Bye.